Hello everyone, this is Janeline D. Sorote, your learning body today. So this time, my discussion is about the different types of plate boundaries and the convergence of plates. So we'll start with the first one, the types of plate boundaries. Actually, there are three different types of plate boundaries. So let's start. The first one, we have the divergent plate boundary so in this type of plate boundaries plates move apart creating a zone of tension at the middle so as you can see in the figure here the two plates both are continental plates they tend to move apart they go in separate ways so if this kind of plate boundaries happens in a, a continental plate it will create a reef valley or a deep valley depression but when this happens in the ocean, it will create or it will lead to the process called seafloor spreading. So as we all know, seafloor spreading is the reason why Pacific Ocean is getting narrower or smaller and Atlantic Ocean is getting wider. Now moving on to the next we have the convergent plate boundary so this is the opposite of divergent so they converge when you say converge they go towards each other the plates move towards each other so they tend to collide so another one the third we have the transform fold boundary so this one uh, in this type of plate boundaries, the plates move or they slide past each other. So they tend to grind or sliding past each other. So example of this is the San Andreas Fault. So if you happen to see the movie of Dwayne Johnson, the San Andreas Fault, at least uh, you have a little background about, the, uh, about this type of plate boundaries. Now, moving on the different types of convergence so there are there are actually three different types of convergence so it can be a continental oceanic convergence it can be a continental continental convergence or it can be both oceanic oceanic convergence so we have here the first one this is a collision of an oceanic and continental convergence so as you can see plate a is this one of course this this is a oceanic plate and plate b is a continental plate okay so plate a okay as you can see when they collide plate a moves downward so the process is called subduction when we say subduction the moving of plate towards okay going to the mantle so as this plate goes to the mantle, it will be consumed. Why? Because as we all know that the mantle has an extremely high temperature. So any volatile materials, materials that goes down will melt. Okay. So of course we have here the subduction. And then we have also the formation of trench. And of course mountain building here above plate B. Okay, so the products or the consequences of collision of an oceanic and continental convergence. So, by the way, trench, that is a depression in the seafloor produced by a subduction process. So, as we all know, as what I've told you earlier, the subduction is the moving of plate over the other. So, this one, this is the trench between the th the. the uh form that is formed between the these two different plate boundaries so this is the trench a narrow depression in the sea floor that is produced by subduction process okay so we all know that the deepest trench on earth we have the marianas trench okay now we have also the volcanic arc Okay, so after the subduction process, those volatile materials that goes to the mantle will be melted. So when it melts, because of the convection current that happens here in the mantle, it goes upward. So when it goes upward, it will form a volcanic arc. So there we go. So there, 
every time you there's a, a boundary a boundary between volcan uh, oceanic and continental uh, plates there's always a volcano so like this one so this is a volcanic arc another one we have of course the occurrence of earthquake so as we all know what earthquake is it is a shaking of the ground so of course uh, we have witnessed our our country philippines is uh, uh, located in the pacific ring of fire one of the country that is part of the pacific ring of fire so we always experience earthquake okay so we have here an example of a earthquake fingerprint okay that is how earthquake fingerprint look like all right so we have an activity so i want you to identify whether the statement is fact or a bluff okay so fact or bluff so you just select between the two so the statement is each plate is slowly but continuously moving all right so what do you think is the answer okay each plate is slowly but continuously moving of course the answer is a big fact okay so we're done so this time we have a quiz so this is very simple and easy so i've got two questions and each questions uh corresponds to five points so the first question is explain the process that occur along the convergence of continental leading plate and oceanic leading plate and the second question is what are the geologic consequences of converging oceanic and continental plates and how they are formed so these are equivalent to five points also and by the way for the criteria for rating we have here the i have here the rubric so we have here the items contents that is two points organization one point and relevance to the topic two points okay of course okay so you are you will be rated uh based on these rubrics and now uh, if you are done okay just copy your assignment so let me read to you your assignment explain how the philippine archipelago was formed and this is equivalent to 10 points so you're going to submit this one tomorrow so that's it thank you